All right, there. It's uh, that old take, Yorkie. And the Chihuahua who's hiding between me and chair right now. Likes to curl up there for some reason. Uh, so, this is going to be episode zero set up for a run on uh, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Looking forward to this one. Ah. I have played a little bit of it. Uh, not a whole lot, though. So, let's go set up, shall we? Now, as you can see, it's the hothead. Well, as you'll have seen on the, um, the title screen, I should say. Join the struggle against the world wound. The epic war between Galarian and the Abyss that has raged for more than 100 years. Up to now, the Crusader armies have barely managed to curb the overwhelming enemy forces. Not for much longer, the demon lords are preparing to strike a decisive blow. You'll have to harness mythic powers, take command of the Fifth Crusade, and lead it against the demonic hordes. Now, I'm not going to go super hard. I'm just going to go daring. And hope for the best. As you said, it's the hothead. Now, I'm going to go for uh, some kind of impetuous hero. I'm going to make my own custom character. Um, but also, I know there's mythic paths in this game that are subsequent or um, additional to the path you make, you, the actual class and stuff. Class race and stuff like that. And I know one of them is a gold dragon, one of them's a demon, and I'll set them for either of those. And a rebellious demon standing against the other demons, maybe. Or he might be forced to, uh, if you're going to go that path, he might be forced to comply, I don't know. Or, a gold dragon trying to rescue everyone. We'll see. We will. Right, who are we going to go for? A hothead. I don't care male or female on characters, me. Uh, who looks good? Well, he looks like a piece of work, doesn't he? No. Could do. No. 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 I could be a hothead. No. Not married to a race either. Well, she looks like she could be a hot everything, doesn't she? With flames and everything. Hey, I'm not sure. Oh, there's ones from previous and all. From uh, Kingmaker. And Kingmaker characters. Well, he looks fancy. Uh, let's see. I remember Valerie and uh, him. Oh, Totuccio, yeah. These two, yeah. Not gonna go them. Uh, let's see. Who shall I go? Who shall I go? Old fella like me. It looks like he might be a hothead. Bit skinny though. And we got the war wielding, uh, the war axe wielding person there. Uh, I'm. Having difficult deciding, to be honest. Ooh. Maybe I'll go for her. She looks like she's a bit cross, don't she? <clears throat> nah, I want to go some kind of priest, I think. To be, uh, hmm. Actually, the, the other possibility is to go for uh, Dragon Disciple. Ooh, if I do that, hang on. I do that. 
If I choose race, if I choose tiefling, oh, they're not going to let me have a. Yes, yeah, so that's not going to work. Oriad is what? Humans whose ancestors includes both an, a touch of an elemental being of Earth somewhere, blind, that is Shite and Genie. Alright, that's not good. Asamir, they can be Dragonborn, can't they? Or can they not? Because I'm thinking the other option is uh, if I want to go hothead. Is of course to work on becoming a uh, dragon person, a uh, dragon disciple, which would require there ain't many that you can use those for. Uh, bard and uh, sorcerer, I think, are the only two. Oh, I might even not even sure if you can be bard. Uh, the other one is the mage, isn't it? I don't want to be the mage. I don't want to be no. So I'm not going dragon disciple. That's fine. All right, so we're going with her. So I want to go a cleric. I want to go a cleric. I want some healing. Not sure which one to go for, though. Crusader. Militant arm of the church. Uh, herald caller. Unlike crusaders or paladins who charge headlong into battle in the name of their patron deities, and all callers adapt, uh, are adept at calling powerful outsiders who aid in their brethren in battle. You've got channel energy, which is a healing. You've got uh, call heralds. And you've got uh, summoner. But well, it's going to be light armor if we do this, which is fine because portraits wearing cloth as well. Right, mighty heralds. A herald uh, call receives augment summoning as a bonus feat. Augment summoning: your summoned creatures are more powerful and robust. Each creature you conjure with any summon spell gains a plus four enhancement bonus to strength and constitution for the duration of the spell that summoned it. All right. And then at level 8, numerous heralds. You can summon more creatures. Each time you cast something, spell that conjures more than one creature. Add one to the total. Mm. That's a possibility. Angel Fire Apostle. Angel Fire Apostles use the powers of good to avoid violence. Oh no, we're not avoiding violence, are we? Crusaders serve as a militant arm of the church. Uh, ready to stand guard over the religion's holy places and be its swift avenging arm against those who resist its truth. Still got channel energy, which is good. You say the bonus feat. Uh, first level, a uh, bonus feature, okay. So we can do that. And get bonus feats, that's about all. Devil Bane Priest, Crusade minded clerics train intensively to learn proper battlefield tactics. Take advantage of the weakness of demons. We've got heavy armour. Eh. Oh. We've got two domains. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff going on here. Eschewing physical armour for protection via the strength of his faith. An Ecclesiastes focuses on the miracles his deity bestows and the breadth of that. Deity's Dominion. We don't seem with this one. Oh, yeah, we do have channel energy. Blessing of the Faithful. The Ecclesia Thirst Tierge can bless one ally within close range. A blessed ally gains plus two sacred bonus on attack, skill, etc. Until the Ecclesia Thirst next turn. Ecclesia Thierge can explain one use of channel energy. Activating this ability to increase the duration to a number of rounds equal to the dice of his channel energy. Okay. Proficiencies club, dagger, heavy crossbow, light crossbow, quarter staff. Not proficient with any type of armor or shields. Domain mastery, yep. 
and two domain selections, we don't get cleric proficiencies. Or priesthood balance. Life and death are two sides of the coins uh, called the universe. Those clerics who do not give preference to either side and can compensate both types of energy in themselves become priests of balance and equally good at both giving and taking life, depending on how much their goals match with yours. So we get both positive and negative energy. Uh, let's see. Channeling energy either heals all undead creatures or damages all living creatures in a 30 foot uh, radius centered on the cleric. The amount of damage dealt or healed is equal to 1d6 uh, uh, of damage plus 1d6 for every two cleric levels beyond first. Creatures that take damage from channeled energy receive a will save to halve it. Hmm. Three plus charisma modifier. When a priest of balance casts positive channel energy uh, or cure wound spell, he strengthens the next negative channel energy wounds. Similar if he cast negative, okay. Cast level increased by two. Ooh, that's an interesting mechanic. But the thing is that the the problem with the channel energies, of course, is you're going to hit your your, your teammates as well. Uh, domain selection, of course. And cleric proficiencies. So I get light and medium, simple weapons and shield. Yeah, we can work with that. Let's go with that. And we're not being an Esamir, we're being a human. And background, background. Background, background. Noble. I mean, they look like a noble. Proficiency and buckler. Well, we've already got the shields and stuff. Although that's proficiency, isn't it? That's... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, oblate. Uh, you're the person of faith who spent her early years in the service of a temple. Your life is intertwined with the divine and you feel its presence guiding your future path. Add persuasion and law religion to their list of class skills. You can also use her wisdom instead of charisma while attempting persuasion checks. Character already has a class skill weapon proficiency or armor proficiency granted by the selected background from her class. And the corresponding bonuses from background change to prove... Uh, regional, what else can I do? What can we do from here? Knowledge Arcana, Defense Against Devils. Law Religion's already there. Law Nature and Stealth, nah. Uh, Nexian Scholar, Knowledge Arcana, no, nope, not interested. Knowledge World, yeah, no. Nope. Kadiran, Perception and Law Nature. Defense against tax of opportunities could be good. That might be worth looking at. Uh, Utala Peasant, Athletics, plus one bonus to AC and damage while under fear. Parisian Explorer, Reflex Saving Throws, Reverly Gnome Kings. No. How about a Street Urchin? Acrobat, Mugger, Pickpocket. I'm a wanderer. Got a lot of hermit, uh, a lot of uh, bonuses there. Warrior. 
We got Gladiator, Guard, Merc. I'm not really seeing one I want. There's got to be one I want. Scholar Divine. Use magic device. I'm not sure if that is part of the priest one already. And law religion certainly is though. Uh, noble. Long sword, rapier, and great sword, and buckler. So we could go buckler and long sword. I think that might be what we do. That's what we'll take. Just take that down a little. Uh, Dex can stay as it is. Wisdom needs to go up. Charisma needs to go up. I don't want to take strength down too much. Take Dex down a little. I don't like doing it. That's okay. So I want that up a little. I want an extra point at least. That's going to be on Wisdom, yeah. <clears throat> we've got four points. We've got four things we can train in. But I do want her to be able to use magic items. So even though I don't want her to be able to do it a lot, I want her to have that ability. Persuasion, absolutely. Law, religion. And, uh, Arcana. That'll work. Selective channel. Whenever you cast positive energy to heal the living or channel negative energy to heal undead, you do not affect. When you channel positive to damage, you do not affect allies. Good. That's what we want. That's absolutely what we want. Uh, right then. What else should we do? A feat. I'm thinking maybe we do group potions. And then these are the ones we can use. Abada, Callistria, Godclaw, Gorum, no, Gosray. Let's go, Gosray. Dualistic deity of nature, a god of the storm and sky, and also goddess uh, of the wave and surf. Born of the ocean's fury, I like this one. Animal domain. Get an animal companion at level four. Good. And I can go lawful neutral, neutral or chaotic neutral. We're going chaotic neutral. Right. That'll work. Not too keen on any of them, to be honest. Uh, hairstyle. All of these are exactly right. We'll do with that.
That'll work. Wall paint, no. Is that the complexion? Yes. There we are. Or maybe a bit darker. Yeah. Uh, primary colour. Well, it was red, wasn't it, on the thing? Secondary colour, I think, was about gold. That'll work. Interesting. We cannot be defeated. I lead. You follow. That's fine. Ah. Uh. Meet on Morris. That'll work. I'm not going to bother about the date. I don't really care about Let's that. Move already. And we're complete. So, with that done, we'll be quitting in a minute. But I need to get to where I can save it first. Market day, or fair day, festival day. Megway coming through, fetch your healer quick. Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? Hey, let's get a healer on the job, shall we? Oh, it's black hair, never mind. That's good enough. And yeah, My it's a red and gold. Would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't she be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? Well, he's bloody charming. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to her? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to her? You hear the stern voice of an elderly man. You're so weak you can't even turn your head to look in that direction. Demons, prelate. We found her barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. There you go. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you! Hold fast. Don't die. We'll, well I'm not trying to die. We'll get Just you patched saying. up now. But first, you there, guard! Take her weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Oh, wonderful. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. She can get her things back after the festival. <laughs> oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal her wounds. Magic envelops you, but your pain lessens only slightly. I won't give up that easy. That's the crusader spirit. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendelev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. The lady raises her head in an affect affectation of surprise. I'll get her. Terendelev! Has anyone seen Terendelev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. The old man leans over you. Uh, I'm Vita Morris. Just give him my name. That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you, then? What's your business in the city? Looks like I ain't gonna My tell him. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of her. <clears throat> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that, so I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. A dragon, eh? I've been informed she was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. 
and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of the city. Muttering discontentedly, the old man walks off. Bugger off then. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. A beautiful silver. A beautiful silver-haired woman leans over you. She seems ageless. Her face wholly unlined. But centuries old sadness gleams in her eyes. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. Yeah, who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. What happened to I me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time yep. will allow you to heal fully. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. Well, you could try. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. The woman lets out a melodious laugh. Thanks for helping me. I accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. Yeah, that's nice. Can I go? Certainly. But be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. All right, sounds good. Sample a uh, special drink. Cool. That's saving. Right, and there we have it for now. Where are we? So, there's links around so other videos on the channel you might enjoy. There's a like and a sub if you use them, you help us grow, and we'd really appreciate that because, we, as you see, we're new, we're desperately trying to grow. And uh, likewise, if you drop me a line in comments, I'll respond. We'll be back in a little bit with part one. That's part zero set up. Ta-da now.